martial art has a very, very deep meaning because uh, as a martial artist, as a human being, all these I have learned from martial art. Ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. We, when we're into arts, all the various forms that we find ourselves in and we still find ourselves in the deification of somebody else's culture or some other people. Like for instance, martial arts. If you go in a, Rome, in a dictionary, you'll find that martial means a Roman god of war. Who would want to identify with a Roman god of war? And especially when you look at the art defense system that all of you will have an equal chance to see in just a few minutes. Long before Marshall, a Roman god of war, and long before the Asian art defense system, the origin of all of that came right here in Kemet. It was called the Montu. The Montu art form was an African defense system. Long before a Roman god of war called martial art. Here you see another, another art form even using the sticks and the art form that one would look at as some kind of a karate chop. And then you see a flip that's taking place right here. So here you see, right, what they call judo. Here you see a flip right here and also another form of the art with the brothers are trying to defeat the other uh, and bring him down. So here you see an African defense system, but I want to show you that this is an African origin that goes as far back as the Nubas. Now, keep in mind, that uh, that came from the Nubas, brothers and sisters. It was an African defense system, meaning that in this African defense system, you see the same exact thing right here. Now look at this here form right here, and look at these brothers from Nuba. Look how far back this goes. This is the same type of African defense system that is going on right now with the Nubas that you see with these two brothers right here to show it's an African art form all the way from the Nubas. The Nubas who live in the highlands of the Sudan. Now, also, just as you see these two brothers right here, mixing it up, one trying to flip the other down, and look at the Nuba brothers that you see right here. Okay? So that's why we come back in all forms to show our story so we can document it, not just to uh, have it from a European perspective, but have it from our African perspective, our African comedic perspective. So we see the two African defense system right here. Now keep in mind, when these brothers, why are they uh, in this form of art right here with the Nubas anyway? They're, they are fighting for something. They are fighting for the woman. And when one wins, he is able to get the sister, and when he wins, she actually comes and puts her leg over his shoulder. Something like this here. But now you can see that this is a natural form where once the brother wins, he has the queen of the village and she actually puts her leg over his shoulder and says, I chose you because you're the baddest brother in the village. All right? <laughs> so here you see it caught. Here you see it carved in stone right here, brothers and sisters. So what is it called? Montu art form. So we erase the martial art because we're not deifying Rome and we're not deifying Roman deities and nor we're not deifying Asia either. So let's get it right. You got an eyewitness account. Take your pictures and go back and show to others who continue to deify others instead of themselves. The Ta-Nehisi Kushite Ethiopians are also received from the art and these blades or rings are around their hand that they use for fights. But let's go and see when I was in the Bume village of Ethiopia, here January 6th, we see our brother is wearing the band around his hand to use for fights for the Bume. But his culture, you see him here, it goes all the way back to the Kushite nation. And on the temples of Kemet, you can see the African defense system and see that that culture started with African people and karate and all these things today as you see the flips and so forth and the hands and also you can see the arrow where we see the stick fighting that he's also using on the temple but you see it right there on the temples of Egypt over 3,000 years ago. These are books in stone that our ancestors left us and you see them with the, with the stick figures for the fighting right here. Also we see go among the Nuba who their wrestling styles and, and compare their wrestling styles are identical to those who are right there in Kemet. So we, got it, we can see it on the temples of Kemet and we can see the wrestling styles are identical to what you see in ancient Kemet. 
as when we went into the village, in the Bume village in southern Ethiopia, the Karo as well. And we can see our brother right here, Kisa, who came with us. He's one of the brothers I selected to come into this region of Ethiopia. And you see him with our brother right here with the ring around his hand, defense system. And brother Kisa went to fight with him. I said, brother, you can't mess with that brother. He got a blade on his hand. He went through a quick move and blood started running all down his arm. <laughs> okay, so it was a quick move, but the brother was just defending himself because Kisa was trying to do something fast on him. But the brother was ready for him. But you can see where his culture is still passed down from the ancient Kushites. As we see the Tanihisi, <coughs> the Tanihisi, Kushite soldiers from the land of the Bo of Taseti. And we see them here because it is here that they excavated Mentahotep's uh, temple and got these soldiers. But notice that they're holding the sticks for battle right here. So when we go back to Musi land, and we can see the same culture among the Musi, the Donga sticks that they use for fights. To this very day that are used, but you see them in the Cairo Museum among the Tanihisi that was carried down the now. This is when I was in Bahia. Here in Salvador, Brazil, I see our brothers here. And here in their art form, and by the way, that's a slave dungeon right there. Yeah, they got slave dungeons in Brazil, just like in Cape Coast and Elmino, West Africa. They kidnapped us, brought us over here to the West. But I noticed that Caparella, and you see the uh, uh, Styx figure that was brought across the Atlantic Ocean. But their art form, called Caparella, as their art form that you see right here, goes back thousands of years, as you see, uh, they're still practicing right here in Bahia in Salvador Caparera. And look closely. And here I'm right there in the middle. They're showing me the art form right there. So we're looking at our Nubian warriors that came up to defend. You know who that is? That's the Maja. This the real Maja. Right. This the real Maja right here. This right here is that Benny Hassan, where the brothers are doing the, the flips and the grapples and the holes. We have been in Montu arts. Huh? Ma, not martial arts, Matu. Matu was the de deity of Waset before Amin. He was still a war deity. But Amin, you serve Matu. And you can go look Matu up too. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. 